Hello, everyone. Welcome back into our Thursday night edition of the newscast. Uh, it's time for, once again for weather. Mike Schultz with you talking about uh, today wasn't all that bad. We had uh, a few clouds here and there and temperatures right around the 47 degree mark. We're looking at 50 degree temperatures to continue into the weekend. We could possibly even see a 60 degree temperature if things work out right. We'll tell you more about that in just a little bit. Our photograph sent in by Nancy Hummel. She was at uh, Kramer's Field yesterday for tax day. As you can see there, a beautiful day it was across the interior. A couple of trumpeter uh, swans here, I should say. And then we have some, uh, some geese down here. And as always, if you have a photograph that you want to share, by all means, send it to photos at ktvf11.com, and we'll share it with the rest of the audience. Your numbers look like this. Today's high 47, currently 45 degrees, 22 for the low last night. Record high was 61. That was set in 2012, but in 1914, it dropped down to 12 degrees below zero. Now your sunrise and sunset, almost 15 and a half hours of daylight. That's a gain of seven minutes from yesterday. On the satellite and radar, once again, that area of low pressure is still hanging around there, not moving much, which means the flow from the south continues, and it also means the Alaska Range is blocking out all that moisture. It's all happening around the Anchorage Bowl and the Kenai Peninsula. Also, over southeast Alaska, more rain continues to fall there. As you can see on the map, it is raining continuously from Juneau right on down to Ketchikan. A few scattered showers in the Anchorage Bowl and around Kodiak Island. Cloudy skies along the uh, Aleutian chain at Cold Bay. And then up and down the west coast, temperatures once again variable. And then cooling down as you get near Nome, 15 degrees for the high there. Barrow at 4 degrees. But for Yukon, up to 41 degrees. Lots of sunshine too. That's good news. On the lower 48 weather, well, once again, we have nice weather over the western half of the country. Temperatures 80 degrees in San Francisco. Wow, that's beautiful. That's warmer than it was in Las Vegas. How about that? More thunderstorms around the Texas area. Chilling down in Denver, 35 degrees. They could see some snow tonight. They can't get rid of winter. And Minneapolis, in contrast, 73 degrees. So when you get a contrast in temperatures there, that's when you get the thunderstorms really breaking out and developing. In fact, you can see them on the satellite and radar. There's the area of low pressure bringing the snow to the Rockies. Well, again, down to the south, a lot of moisture moving off the Gulf of Mexico and clashing with this uh, area of low pressure, helping to develop some severe weather. Now, what it all means is there is going to be afternoon thunderstorms, some of those severe in much of Texas tomorrow, moving eastward and out to the west. It'll be just cool with, again, that light snow possible in the Rockies. And as far as the overall jet stream, again, yesterday, as I said, this thing is really taking a big dive way down to the south. And that means there's some severe weather is definitely going to be breaking out over much of the uh, central portions of the country in the deep south over the weekend. So that's going to be kind of nasty there. All right, back to Alaska's weather. For the northern sections, partly cloudy at Barrow, mostly sunny skies in Nome, and some rain and snow in Fort Yukon. Here in the interior, we'll be looking out for the most part, becoming partly cloudy for Fairbanks and Healy, mostly sunny skies at Delta. While over southeast Alaska, there's the rainfall, cloudy with rain showers for Juneau and Ketchikan, and over to the southwest, Looking at partly cloudy skies in Bethel, rain and snow at Cold Bay, and rain for Kodiak. And still wet down around the Anchorage Bowl. And as Anchorage, will be looking at some snow showers and Valdez also snow showers, cloudy skies at Homer. Time once again for our kids' weather. And all this week we've been talking with the kids. Oh, real quickly, the Nanana Ice Classic update. The ice thickness is not known right now, but the ice is from bank to bank and no holes yet in the, uh, Nanana, or the Nanana River is still frozen. So I guess that's a good sign. All right, real quickly, uh, we're looking at uh, short range forecast. First of all, real quickly, let's go to our kids' weather. And uh, tonight we'll hear from the teacher with an interesting weather fact. Hi, I'm Mr. Dixon, and this is my fourth grade class at Badger Road Elementary in North Pole, Alaska. We have a weather fact to share with you today. Did you know that the warmest temperature ever on Earth was 134 degrees in Death Valley, California? That's hot enough to fry an egg on the sidewalk. What? Pretty, pretty interesting. Hey, look at the five-day outlook. Like I said yesterday, we're looking at temperatures to mid to upper 50s all the way across the board. And overnight lows will also be in the 30s. No precipitation expected. And like I said, don't be surprised if we see a 60-degree reading because the winds are expected to really turn more southerly, which means a lot of warm air coming into the Alaska area. And uh, it'll be very interesting to see that happen this weekend.